Hello guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today we will see a very quick and cool tutorial about how to recreate this uh, kind of shape. Uh, I posted this image um, a long time ago. Uh, this is from a short uh, animation I made. I just uh, will show you the effects right now. <laughs> This is like a cell uh, abstract cell growing. Uh, this is in uh, 2D, but you can uh, imagine to um, put the layer in a uh, three dimension and have fun uh, with it. Uh, this is a very simple uh, thing to recreate. Uh, for this, I uh, used uh, the very cool uh, technique uh, show uh, by Andrew Kramer in uh, his tutorial The Grid uh, who helped me to um, create uh, the basic shape with the ID of uh, the uh, elaborate uh, light elaborate lighting who um, are very uh, cool to create some procedural shapes so we will uh, see this. This is uh, the same, the same thing uh, like um, in this tutorial. So if you uh, didn't see this tutorial, the grid, I invite you to watch it because uh, it uh, is uh, very nice and uh, maybe help you to uh, know how to use some cool After Effects. Um, way to create abstract forms. Uh, here it's for grid cells, but uh, we will uh, see uh, that with the uh, distort plugin that we can have uh, the cell, abstract cell uh, look. The plugin distort was used too uh, in the Zine Pillow Talk uh, video clip if you uh, saw it maybe. So this uh, this is with uh, this plugin um, that uh, the background was created. Uh, and uh, I will apologize for my very bad English, but I don't care because uh, I'm French. Uh, if you're new to the channel uh, MHS Tuts, I invite you to subscribe and watch uh, the videos I um, made some English tutorials sometime and my friend uh, Sylvain too because we are um, I'm not the only one uh, who produced tutorial on this channel so you have uh, the content language in the upper right so be sure uh, that uh, you're looking English tutorial if you're not French and uh, probably the French tutorials are way better because this is my uh, native uh, language and you probably know that uh, French people are from the worst uh, people in the world uh, about uh, the master of uh, languages. So uh, I will close this um, small uh, parenthesis and uh, we will just start now. So if you already see the tutorial The Grid by Video Copilot, you will be probably familiar with the first step. So I will just create a new uh, composition and uh, just put a small amount of time. Maybe I will uh, just put five seconds. In this uh, composition, I will uh, create a solid uh, by hitting Command or Control plus Y and uh, I will choose a color to have, to have a visual, uh, visual stuff. So I will choose my effect uh, Elaborate Lighting. In French, it's called um, Éclair élaboré, and I have this shape. So uh, this is very very nice. Uh, 
uh, I will do uh, another tutorial uh, when uh, the project will come but I used some procedural um, creation to create a very cool uh, Kaleido uh, sequences because uh, you have a, a lot of very cool uh, presets and then with uh, just changing the state of conductivity you can uh, create uh, very quickly a huge amount of different things so this is an underestimate uh, effect uh, you can create a very very cool amount of things directly inside of, of After Effects so I will um, go in uh, this uh, mod uh, I don't know the English word for it uh, this is the four the fourth um, option in your uh, lighting type so uh, when you find the same uh, preset uh, like me we uh, will just go into the glow and uh, put it to uh, one to um, avoid uh, the, the worst uh, light uh, ever in the world with this uh, very cheap effect <laughs> so uh, right now I will go into my expert parameters and go into tree of complexity and uh, bring back my turbulence to 10 to have this kind of um, uh, grid, technical grid looking. So this is uh, what Andrew Kramer made uh, for uh, his uh, technical grid. Uh, this is looking very, very nice um, for making um, abstract uh, uh, sci-fi shapes or uh, stuff like that, but uh, we will add the distort effects to um, put this uh, kind of technological grid into uh, cells. So uh, I I will not uh, put too much energy into uh, modifying this uh, because uh, I let you uh, choose the look you like and the the par the setting I will uh, animate is uh, this one uh, assèchement du noyau uh, in English uh, this is uh, this um, I, I guess noyau is core so just animate this to have uh, like a growing uh, sequence so I will go maybe to uh, 1.12 uh, uh, but uh, a keyframe here and go at the beginning and uh, go to 100 and so I have this uh, growing this is cool I can animate to uh, the opacity by hitting T uh, put a keyframe here I put zero here so you have a um, kind of a progressive growing Right now, uh, we uh, just need to duplicate this, uh, like uh, I will go and put it in screen mode and now I can duplicate and I just can move it uh, where I want, so I put it here and just change the state of conductivity to have a different look and right now Wow, this is fantastic. I have um, a cool grow growing and I can uh, duplicate again, put this here, change the state of conductivity, duplicate again, duplicate again, put it here, change the state of conductivity, uh, change the scale, change uh, whatever you want uh, to create. Um, the, the look you want and uh, now you 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 go here and uh, you can uh, offset um, all this to have a kind of a different um, to have the, the this effect of uh, 
progressive growing. And right now I can add uh, some tint effect to uh, choose my color. Uh, for example, I can choose uh, a red and I can add some glow. I can add um, all the things I want to make it uh, to make it great. And uh, I just need to uh, put uh, another layer with my sapphire distort effect and uh, I have now my cool, uh, very very cool uh, abstract cells uh, growing. So this is uh, very basic but uh, this is looking very abstract and very cool. This is now the the end of this uh, very quick tutorials. You can now focus on um, tweaking the uh, settings to play with uh, your amount of distortion. Uh, you can uh, move all the stuff to have a different looking. You can animate the cell and making uh, them blend together or not. This is a, a very cool uh, preset to create uh, abstract uh, shapes. You can play with the scale too to have uh, something uh, there. Uh, so there's a lot of things uh, to do. You can redu reduce the amount uh, of um, complexity to have less details or you can uh, bring back uh, some uh, glows to uh, create different kind of effects like uh, this uh, this is like blood growing. So um, with uh, basic uh, stuff you can learn on internet like video copilot. Be sure to think about the effects you can add. Uh, here I played with some different kind of glows of, of stuff uh, to create um, different uh, things. So this is uh, just uh, playing uh, without uh, without thinking, uh, just play, play, experiment and go somewhere uh, and sometimes uh, people will <laughs> like where you go. So this is uh, a, a, a trick about uh, an old visual. Uh, if this tutorial was uh, nice to you, uh, maybe subscribe. Uh, I admit this is not absolutely not the best tutorial I've made, but I just want to share with you these uh, tricks. And uh, you can uh, subscribe to our Instagram to see some uh, videos uh, more are coming. And uh, if you're curious about some uh, image, uh, there are some tutorial, maybe about uh, this one. I've, I've made a tutorial about this one. I've made um, tutorial about um, some image. Uh, this uh, tutorial in this one. Uh, so just be sure to check the channel and uh, enjoy. So see you next time, guys.